The Las Vegas Raiders went all in for this season. They hired a new GM and a new head coach. They also made a blockbuster trade and got some good free agents. This is a big year, so we went a little overboard talking about practice reps. Practice? We're talking about practice, man. <laughs> We're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. Sorry, I love Allen Iverson. But the first depth chart is out, so the Raiders now have clear leaders for all their starting positions. Are there any big surprises or shockers? Not really, unless you put too much on some of those reports that came out. But there are a few interesting things in there as well as some things to watch for. The first place we're going to look here is the offensive line. You see Alex Leatherwood's name right there at starting right tackle. I made a video a few days ago about Theron Munford taking the right tackle job because he took the 2021 first round picks reps a few days ago. I thought something went wrong with Leatherwood, so I thought he should be able to overtake Brandon Parker too because I just don't believe in him like that. Sorry, this is year five for Parker, so he is who he is and a bull rush is all you need to beat him. And at the same time, I really do like Munford. But I'm good with Leatherwood where he is. Think of how awful he would have had to be to slide down to third team after only a couple of padded practices. I don't usually jump on something having to do with practice reps, so my bad on that one. We talking about practice. Some of you may think right guard Lester Cotton is a surprise, but I saw this coming when Denzel Good wasn't healthy for minicamp. Everything else on the offense and the offensive line is status quo. Now let's look at the defense. Nose tackle Jonathan Hankins is off the screen to the back of the depth chart because he's been injured, and Andrew Billings is holding it down at nose tackle right now. Billings was never anything special, but he was pretty good with the Cincinnati Bengals. His last year there was 2019, he opted out of 2020, and he only had a few snaps with the Cleveland Browns in 2021. This battle will be interesting as Hankins returns to full health as he was dominant against the run in his prime, but he's on the back nine now. Another item of interest is Rocky Alcine and Nate Hobbs at corner one and two. Hobbs was in the slot last year, so is he playing all outside this year, or will he be outside in the base defense and in the slot and sub defense? Anthony Everett can play in the slot too, so we'll soon see how that shakes out. Last year's corner one, Trayvon Mullen is supposed to be back by week one, so will he be able to win his job back, or will it be taken over? It'll also be interesting to see what happens with Jonathan Abram, who's starting safety now. Did they coach him up? Well, Raider Nation, we can be a little relieved about the right tackle position right now. The fact that 2021 first round pick Alex Leatherwood went from working with the twos for the most part in training camp to number one on the depth chart now is a good thing. And while the nose tackle position with Jonathan Hankins and Andrew Blings is a little something to keep an eye on, we really need to keep an eye on Nate the Natural Hobbs at corner. He has shut down corner ability on the outside while Anthony Everett can play in the slot. Oh yeah, we gotta see if Jonathan Abram takes his game to another level. These are all important positions to look for. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.